What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be putting a wing on the Civic. I'm right now I'm waiting on the shipping um, for the wing to get here, but it's obviously just light mist rain right now. So once it gets here, I'll open it up and we'll uh, try to put it on the car. All right, so it arrived. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I haven't fully opened it yet. There it is. In the bubble wrap. At least it was packaged well. Let me get this part open real quick. So there it is. Looks pretty good. So we'll just take it out and see if it fits on the car. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try to put it on the car. I'll have to figure out how I'm gonna mount it, but I'm just hoping it fits. Oh yeah, that's gonna look pretty good, I think. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's gonna look sweet. I'll probably end up color matching it, but I'm not exactly sure yet. But wow, that looks awesome. So I will probably see if I can go back to my buddy's uh, garage since it's wet out here, and we'll try to figure out how to mount it up there. So let me try to get a hold of him. All right, so we're back over here at his house in the garage. Um, I've got to put the wing on, but we're going to be doing different colored bolts. Um, you know, for the autism awareness, it's different colors. We've got green, purple, red, blue, and yellow. We're just going to paint the bolts each different colors. The wing's right here. Um, so we're going to drill the holes in the trunk. And we're going to bolt it in. And I have the bolts over here. Uh, they're just Allen bolts. And we're going to paint each one of them a different color. That way, whenever it's bolted in, it'll look pretty cool. But I wanted to give a shout out to my brother AJ from Rivera Performance. Uh... He, it was actually his idea. It's a really good idea. So we'll probably end up doing that with bolts in the engine bay too. I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up and we'll uh, start painting. All right, so we've got four longer ones. Those ones will go on top. So I'm going to do those ones first. And then we've got these four little shorter ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring them. Well, that should look pretty good. Um, we'll go ahead and put the wing on the trunk and then uh, mark everything and drill the holes that way this can dry while we're doing that. All right, so since it's so humid, he's over here using a hair dryer just to uh, heat them up so that way they can uh, get all the air bubbles out. It's, it's working pretty well. There's no, no air bubbles. We'll go over it one more time with another coat. Um, but it should look pretty cool when it's done. All right, so this is a wing from eBay. I'll put a link in the description for it. But I'm basically just going to set it up here, make sure it's all lined up, and then tape it in place while we uh, mark everything so we can drill it. That way it'll stay still while we mark everything up. They go long enough on that. This should work for now just to kind of hold it in place. It's not perfect, but it'll work. Eventually, I plan on molding it all in and painting the whole trunk and everything to match. But for right now, we're just going to bolt it in. So it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out where I'm going to drill these holes because I want them pretty much symmetrical on this side to this side with the different color bolts. So. So we're measuring this out, um, two inches in here we're going to put a bolt, and then right, where are we at here? Right there, that's 12 and a half right there, and then that's 12 and three quarters is right there. Okay, so at about 12 and a half, that's where the next bolt will go, and you measured on that side and it's the exact same, so if we go two inches in over there, and we come over here, it's yeah. 12 and a half. Yeah, it'll so, be. So we're going to have it like that. We might later on put one more dead center uh, just to have five on the bottom and then we'll go five on top. But for right now, we're just going to have uh, two here, two there, two there, and two there. 
and it'll hold it down more than plenty. Um, typically, you use a window sealer glue. Um, it's like a urethane, and it'll bond well. You don't have to drill any holes, but we like to drill the holes, and I'll be molding it anyway, so those holes will be molded over eventually, one of these days anyways. But uh, when we go to bolt it down, probably put some gasket maker or something around each hole. That way it doesn't leak into the trunk, and we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get these holes drilled. We're just using a cheap Walmart drill and a golden drill bit here. And we're going to very gently drill these holes out. All right, so I drilled the holes on the outside edges here. And got that one there. So I'm going to work on this one over here. You didn't notice I'm just eyeballing the rear it looks pretty straight so should be fine uh, won't probably be perfect either way but I'll go ahead and uh, step it up just to the next size up on the drill bit Good to me. All right, well, I'll probably put something underneath this so it doesn't leak. Um, then we'll just go ahead and put these bolts in and nut it back on the other side. Uh, put a nut on the back side and then tighten them down with the Allen. So once I do that, we'll be right back. All right, so I bolted it down. Um, I didn't get that on camera because Casey ran off somewhere. I don't know where. But in here, you can't, can't really see it. but. Inside there, I was able to get one of the nuts on the back side and tighten them down. Uh, it's a tight squeeze, but I managed to do it on all of them. Um, we will end up doing the one more right here in the center uh, just because it'll make it a little bit better because there's a pretty big gap between sides. We'll just do one more in the center there, one more in the center there. But they're all the way tightened down, so now all I gotta do is put the tail lights back in and uh, tighten them back down. Now we'll be doing the um, trunk inside, painting that soon. I got the jams here mostly finished. I just got to go one more coat over those. And uh, then the piece of plastic goes over that so you won't even see that. But yeah, all this will be painted along with the door jams because you guys can see door jams still need finished. But I'm going to go orange base coat first, just spray can some orange um, base coat door jams and then in the engine bay I'm gonna do the exact same thing base coat orange and then uh, bed line over everything not the engine um, I think I'll take the intake manifold off and move all the lines in keep the engine in and paint the bay I think that'll be the easiest route and it, it still looks good um, if you pull it all out and pull everything out it's a whole lot of work but it looks really really good when you do it that way but the way I'm about to do it um, not today but that way will look really good when it's done so I'm going to go ahead and put tail lights in and we'll see how it looks with the trunk shut. All right, so there it is. It's all bolted down. It's nice and sturdy. Um, but yeah, I think it does definitely need the one more bolt because we do have a small gap um, right there. But it shouldn't leak. It should be perfectly fine. We got gasket seal in there so it won't leak into the trunk. And we got the multicolored bolts for autism awareness, like the puzzle pieces. But pretty simple install. Car's definitely coming along, making some progress. It's kind of dirty right now. It's been raining like crazy. So have lots of uh, water all over it. So it's kind of dirty. But it's holding up pretty good so far. 
But yep, like I said, on the engine bay, we will uh, get that done at another time, along with the door jams and trunk jams. And then once that's finished, the majority of the outside will be finished and the paint stuff will be finished. But then we got to start on the valve cover and turbo compressor, which we might do the valve cover and turbo compressor before the engine bay gets finished. Then we got to do under the hood as well. I forgot about that. So yeah, definitely make some more videos, have more content coming out. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think I should keep the duckbill black or should I color match it to the trunk and uh, mold it in so it looks like it came stock that way? Or should I just leave it exactly how it is with the multicolored bolt holes? I definitely want this to go to car shows and I want it to look really good. A lot of people were saying how they didn't like the orange peel uh, texture look to it because it's orange and it has the texture. But autistic kids, I know personally, autistic kids love feeling things like this. Um, so I think they'll like it a lot, especially when it gets to the car shows. And then I'm going to have a sign that says, feel free to touch because I'm not one of those people. It's like, don't touch my car. This, I'm not that guy. So I don't know, it's coming along pretty good. So I just wanted to give you guys this video, show you the wing going on, explain a few things. But, uh, I actually have a Walboro fuel pump that I just bought. Um, I need to install this in the car because we're having issues with the fuel pump not keeping up at all times. Sometimes it works really good and other times it doesn't. So I'm just going to replace the fuel pump. We've already got a K&N fuel filter I just put in not too long ago. Uh, new injectors, new fuel pressure regulator. This is the last piece to that crazy puzzle that I've been trying to hunt down an issue with. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely hit the like button. Stay tuned for more content, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, God bless, and stay safe.